Hi, I'm John C. Kelly, the writer of Unwritten, and I'm a supervising producer on House. Where I kind of get the idea of using basically an author that's writing books for tweens is because my oldest daughter is 12, and any latest series of books that are for tweens she reads, she's a compulsive reader. And, and I thought it would be pretty funny if House, who is an adult, is really captivated by these books that are really not the target audience. With the creation of Alice, I wanted to have a character that was as strong as House, someone that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And I like that. It was a strong patient, you know, for a strong doctor. The other creation, I wanted to have a character where there was basically two cases to be solved. There's a medical case, what is killing Alice, and even if we cure her, the more important part of the case is why does she want to die? And if House can't figure out the answer to both of those mysteries, he's not going to get what he wants, and what he wants is more Jack Cannon books. How did I come up with the idea of doing a go-kart double date? You know, on the show, I've seen them a lot in restaurants on dates. And I was asking my fellow writers, what can I have them do that isn't just sitting in a restaurant again? You know, we've seen that. One of our major writers on the show suggested go-karts. So when you take a look at the go-kart sequence, you're going to see above the go-kart track, there's all these giant boxes that look like lights are coming out of them. Those are all created by our crew. They had a light, basically the, an airplane hangar, and lighted enough so that we could see these go-karts going around the track. And the amount of work and effort that went into this was really mind-blowing. The great thing about this go-kart sequence, the actors pretty much drove the way I wrote the characters. Now, I don't know if that's method acting. Hugh turned out to be the best driver out there, the fastest, the probably most proficient. I believe he has raced cars in the past, and he does drive a motorcycle, so I think he had a slight edge over the other actors. Some inside information. Our prop master, Tyler Patton, in the script, he was supposed to provide a penguin and a beaver. And so during our production meeting, he brought in a penguin, and he brought in a stuffed moose that did not look like a beaver, and his plan was to do surgery on this moose and turn it into a beaver. Of course, we all thought that was impossible, but due to his magical brilliance at props, when you do see that beaver, I just want everyone to remember it was actually a moose. And that's all I've got.